Joint Firing Drill, also known as Joint Exercise, is a seasonal game mode in Blue Archive that challenges players in different kinds of drills. We're going to pick up where we left off and discuss the overview of the next 6 drills and the units that you need to prepare. This video will cover the 9th Joint Firing Drill up until the 14th one. Without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> The ninth joint exercise is an urban breakthrough, but this time every single incoming buff will be blocked, and the enemies can ignore defense by flat 2000. However, the buffs from enhanced skills and specialist sub skills are unaffected. This gimmick is nothing if you have explosive units that have offensive EX skills, like Aru, Mutsuki, Ibiki, and others. Waharu wields both healing and damage capabilities with her grenade. The third joint exercise is an indoor shooting drill, but the jack in the boxes take no damage from any EX skills, but all AR and tactical supports get 300% more attack. Take note that this buff only applies once on each eligible unit. Obviously, AR units are your best choices on this joint exercise, like Sarika, Asuna, Asusa, Shiroko, and Saori. Buffers can further strengthen your strikers, like Kotama, Ako, and Himari. The 11th joint exercise is an indoor defense drill, wherein every time an ally defeats a cube, their attack will be reduced by 5% and this can be stacked up to 50 times. However, healing an ally can remove up to 5 stacks of that debuff. Additionally, all SR and MG units have significantly less attack. To deal with this gimmick, bringing a few AoE healers can help, like Atsuko, Koharu, Hanako, and Ayane. Take note that debuff cleansers like Mari can only remove one debuff. So, it's better to rely on your healers. Since this is a defense drill, your AoE Mystic units will be your best choice. The 12th joint exercise is an indoor breakthrough drill where in every 10 seconds, the scarecrow switches between two states, the normal state and the debuff state. During debuff state, the scarecrow can only receive 1 HP of healing at a time and it inflicts 10,000 damage to all allies whenever healed. This instance of damage can be reduced by the unit's defense and it can be evaded. Additionally, all enemies leave a burning area upon death that lasts for 20 seconds. The only thing that changed when clearing this exercise is when you're going to heal the Scarecrow. Other than that, keep your Striker's HP on check. Single target healers are recommended on this exercise, like Kokona, Serena, and Chidatsu. Tracksuit Mori might have problems with her position, so plan accordingly. The 13th joint exercise is a field shooting drill wherein the jack-in-the-boxes take more damage from all types of DOT, naming Burn, Chill, Poison, and Cheer Fever. However, they have more max HP and higher crit resistance. Midori along with Momoi can poison these boxes to death. Chill debuffers like Swimsuit Asusa, Swimsuit Iori, and Swimsuit Chise with Oi or Yuyi Fuka are also recommended. You can also use units that can inflict burn debuffs like Bichiru, Moe, and Shigure. Chise has a 10% chance to inflict burn with their auto attacks, while Saki can inflict burn with the basic skill every 35 seconds. Cheer leader Hibiki is the only unit so far who can deal cheer fever, which basically works the same as chill, burn, and poison. But since her EX skill costs 7, bringing Ui or New Year Fuka will ease the burden. The last joint exercise for this video is a field defense drill, wherein all cubes have increased attack, but their movement speed is decreased. In addition, they are immune to anything that can disrupt their movement, and all tank units have significantly less HP. Defeating these cubes before they reach the front line is important, so AoE piercing units are recommended for this drill, like Momoi, Moe, Cherino, Junko, Nonomi, and others. Spawn camping is an excellent strategy if you're going for faster clears. That's it for the second joint firing drill guide. We cover the gimmicks and the best units from the 9th up to the 14th exercise. So, if you want more Blue Archive content and streams, then go ahead and subscribe now. Also, follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.